Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Creepy Tales and Urban Legends. I'm your host, The Nightwalker, and tonight, this is going to be definitely a uh, one that a lot of people remember, and uh, and I thought I'd go ahead and talk about it. You know, it's it's a fun little story, and this one has been told in different variations, as most urban legends are. So the story we're going to talk about tonight is called The Choking Doberman. Now, the story usually begins with a woman. Now, in some versions of the story, it's just a woman by herself. In other versions of the story, it's a woman with kids. Now, she comes home, and, you know, it turns out, you know, in the house, this woman has a dog, a Doberman. And the Doberman, obviously, is meant to be a watchdog and things like that. And, uh, you know, so, like I said, sometimes, you know, there are kids in the story, sometimes not. But anyway, so the woman comes home and she's, you know, she sees her Doberman. She goes to pet him and she realizes there's something not quite right with the dog. And so she goes up, you know, she's like trying to check him and everything. And uh, so come to find out, it's like, well, the Doberman is acting weird. And then some, in some versions of the story, you find out that, you know, she actually is able to reach in and pull out that, that the dog is choking, you know, and so she's able to reach in and pull out what the dog is choking on. And then some in, the, in other versions of the story that, uh, you know, the, the woman ends up having to take the dog down to the vet and the vet ends up, you know, doing surgery on the dog to get out what is, you know, choking him. But, uh, you know, so pick either, which either scenario you want, either one works. But, uh, what we find out though, is that, you know, the dog is actually choking on a finger and the finger has a ring on it. And then they pull this out of the, the, throat of the Doberman. The Doberman is fine. And, um, so then we realize that, uh, now, like I said, this story usually has different variations on it. Um, now like in, like in this version of the story where the woman has children, you know, she goes home, she gets her children, gets them out of the house and, or she doesn't, you know, she just goes to the neighbor's house or whatever. And she ends up, you know, they call the police some time passes, the police come, they tell, you know, she's, you know, she tells them, you know, like, this is really, really weird. Uh, the dog, you know, had a finger with a ring stuck down his throat. And so I think there might be somebody in my house. And so the police will go in and they start to search and investigate. And they're looking through the bedrooms or looking through the kitchen, the living room. And finally in, I believe, I believe it's, uh, the woman's bedroom. They go and they check the closet and sitting there on the floor huddled in a corner is a robber and the robber actually got into the house and he fought with the dog in, in the process. The dog managed to bite the guy's finger off and, you know, tried to swallow it and the dog ended up choking on it. And then, but before the, the robber can do anything else by that time, that's when the woman comes home and, or, you know, where she comes home with her kids and, you know, realizes something is wrong with the dog and needs to take the dog out to be checked up on. And then, of course, the story ends with, uh, you know, yeah, the story ends with uh, the man being taken out of the closet and being brought to jail. And But here's the thing, you know, it's all like, who knows? You know, it's like, it's one of those stories, you know, it's like, that's what makes it so scary. What happens if the dog had not been there? What happened if the dog didn't have the, the finger in the ring lodged down its throat, you know, how would the, you know, what would have, what would have happened to the woman? What would have happened to the woman if she had kids, you know, so many things, you know, so, so it's definitely one of my favorite urban legends, you know, it really does play with your mind. It's all like, you know, um, and that's the thing, you know, what makes it scary though, too, is, you know, home is supposed to be your sanctuary from the world. It's supposed to be where you go when you want to get away from problems and you want to get away from tensions and stress and things like that. So, and then for that to be invaded, you know, so, yeah, so I think that, you know, that's one of the things that makes it one of my favorite stories. It's very, very unsettling and very scary. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, if you come home, if you have a Doberman or any dog for that matter, uh, you know, you know, when you come home, it might not be a bad idea to first, you know, turn on the lights, you know, check the rooms, you know, be aware of your surroundings. If you have a dog or, you know, really kind of keep an eye on them, make sure they're not choking on a finger. So anyway, so that's going to do it. And, uh, I thank you for watching this video and uh, I love urban legends and I love those, you know, great old folk tales and I hope you do too. So uh, yeah, you know, again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, and subscribe. There'll be uh, videos posted and um, you know, until then come back next time and you know, 
See you later and hope you love urban legends and creepy tales as much as I do. Bye-bye.